Hey everybody, it's Eric with Rod and Country. Uh, I'm bringing you a video today because I didn't do one Friday. And I really didn't do a review Saturday. Well, it's been a crazy, crazy week. So, today, we are going to do Firefighter Friday. Yes, I know. It's Tuesday. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So you guys stay with me. We'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So today's video is going to be about the first structure fire I ever ran with the fire department here in West Virginia. I remember this one like it was yesterday. It was it was interesting, to say the least. Um, got called out for a working structure fire um, at a mobile home park. And if you're a firefighter, you understand, um, you, you don't have much time. Uh, the older mobile homes that catch on fire, they're up. So I get to the station, and keep in mind, I am still a probationary firefighter in West Virginia because none of my certifications from Ohio transferred here to West Virginia because they want the money. But I digress. Get to the station, and it's me, <coughs> Merle Chapman, rest his soul, and Tex Perry. And we get in there, I get my gear on, and they're telling me to get on the truck. Um, and the truck we're rolling out with is one of the older trucks. We don't have it anymore. Um, one of the older Chevrolets we had only had 750 gallon of water. And it was just a, really a two-man cab, but we could shove three people in there. So we take off, mark in route. Uh, we get to the main road to cross it and we see nothing but a column of black smoke. Hey boy. Didn't hear anybody else mark up. It was just us. Fortunately, the apartment next to us was just clearing up from a car accident on the interstate. And they got on the radio and asked us, hey, do you guys need anything? We're clearing up, what do you need? I grabbed the mic, and yeah, I was a probie. I grabbed the microphone, and I said, give me what you got. Roll everything, we've got a working structure fire. So we're cruising out through there in this, this fire truck, and I look over at Tex, I'm like, all right, Tex, what are we doing? Um, all right, I said, let's grab a two and a half, let's get this thing knocked down. Hopefully we can get it knocked down good enough to, uh, to wait for the other trucks to get there. Not thinking. We're not in a thousand gallon truck. <coughs> We're in a 750. Hang on a minute, I gotta let my dog. I'll be right back. Oh, buddy. I'm back. So where were we? We're not in a thousand gallon engine. We are in a 750 gallon pumper. Merle goes, ah, you better not do that, Bubby. You guys are down there. You'll not. You better not do that, Bubby. We only got 750 gallon of water. Okay, Pearl. Okay, Papa. We'll, uh, we'll grab the, grab a cross lay and we'll start hitting it there. So we, uh, we pull in. Of course, the mobile home's on fire. I mean, it's, it's blowing flames out of every hole that it has. And people are sitting here going, it's right there. It's right there. Bless your hearts. So Merle wheels it into the, to the driveway. Tex and I jump off, finish getting geared up. I grab that driver's side cross layer. We stretch it out. And I figure, okay, it's already through the front of the mobile home. The front, because it had one of those big, huge, huge uh, uh, 
picture windows and it's already blew it out. I can see right straight back through the, the entire mobile home. So Tex gets in, I'm on the nozzle, Tex gets in behind me. I set her up to about 125. Merle charges the line. I do, it's kind of, I was taught it's called a modified fog. It's a mix between a straight stream and fanned it out just a little bit. And I crack her. Started working that fire, working that fire, working it, started shoving it back. So we go, we've got it shoved back pretty good. So Tex and I go to move around to the front of it to keep pushing it back. Because the back, I figured it started back in the back and it's worked its way forward. So I'm kind of shoving it back a little bit. Good thing is it's burned through the siding of the mobile home and I can see the whole inside of this mobile home and there's a porch and I'm thinking in my mind and I think Marl had ESPN because I start thinking I'm going up on this porch and I'm going to poke my head in here and start shoving that stuff back. <laughs> Marl goes, Bubby don't you go up on that porch. Don't you go up on that porch. That porch don't look stable. And that house, don't you, you, there's no need to go on that porch. Okay Papa, we got it. Well, I yell at Merle. I say, hey Merle, get on the power company and get him out here. Cut this power off. About the ah, couple seconds after that, I straight stream it. I make a swipe right down the side of that mobile home and it goes, yeah. I mean, it arcs and you hear the power, power lines, wow, blows the breaker. The text goes, well, power's out now. So <laughs> He started fighting it. And this time, and you're, you're talking about all this took place within eight to 10 minutes, maybe, if that long. About that time, Milton starts coming in and we get, I'm sorry, one of our trucks gets there, it's the chief, and Milton and everybody gets there. And uh, we finally have a crew. Well, I'm looking, at this drop, I was about fell backwards in my chair. I'm looking at the drop coming off the mobile home, and I'm telling everybody, don't go back there. That line's about to drop. I didn't know if it's still hot or not. Here goes one of our firemen, right underneath that power line with a hand line, and I'm yelling at him, "Get your hind end out from underneath that line." I didn't say hind end. Get back here now. So we, we're fighting this fire and we run out of water. There's no hydrant, nothing. And I'm standing at this window, and Tex is still behind me with a limp hose and I'm shaking it in the window. I turn around and go, hey Merle, we need some water. How about some water? Hang on, Bubby. I'm trying to get you some. Love that man to death. So we get there and we start doing overhaul. And this is something I have never seen to this day. And Tex and Derek Ray can tell you I'm not lying. Right in that kitchen where everything had burned out was a refrigerator. Derek Ray takes a pike pole, grabs a hold of it, starts to pull it out of there. It leans forward. Now the doors are shut. It leans forward, and the whole inside, top and bottom of that refrigerator is just blazing. Blazing. Well, I'll take a minute and go, how the crap did that happen? I guess when we opened that, that thing fell forward and it cracked just a little bit. I mean, it just went that quick because there was no intrusion on the back, sides, top, bottom, nowhere. It was sealed up. So while we do that, it rolls forward and it opens up. Derek lets go of it and it rocks back and closes. He reaches up there and he gets him another big old purchase on that thing and he pulls. 
it went back and so did Derek. He busted his hind end right there in the middle of the park in the in the driveway. He goes, well, I guess that's one way to get it out. Got to get a little laugh about that. So it just, it, it was my first fire, and I'd been out at the fire service for about six years. And uh, that was the first blame structure fire that I'd ever ran. Total loss. Chief was mad because I asked for another fire department to come and didn't give uh, anybody else a chance to go or mark up or have another trucking route like it matters. Uh, I, I, to this day, I don't care if something is on fire. I don't care what the writing is on the side of that fire truck. As long as it's red or yellow or white or black and this has water on it and firemen jump off, that's all I care. So that was my first structure fire with uh, with the fire department. Hope you guys enjoyed that little little story back there from way back then. And uh, I know a few a few of my old buddies watch these videos as well. I hope that kind of takes you back a little bit. And uh, yeah, that was a good time. Good times. I miss those days. Uh, that's back when it was fun. So with that being said. I want to thank everybody for taking their time out of their day and spend it with me rambling on about a fire. If you're new, go down and hit that subscribe button for me. Give me a thumbs up on the like button. It helps. And if you have any questions or comments, man, put them down in the comment box. I'll, I'll respond back to you. So, until next time, I'm Eric with Rod and Country. This has been another Firefighter Friday story time. We'll see you guys later. Y'all take care.